Today, I'm going to show you how to get an animated moving desktop wallpaper like this one. This is not totally new, but has recently become quite reliable. And if you're looking for something new to try and want to update your desktop to 2017, then stay locked, crush that like button, enjoy, and I hope it helps. What is currently happening YouTube? Facepalm here, your friend in Oz and NZ, bringing you reviews, tutorials, and game clips, minus the sh** you can follow me on Twitter at facepalm with a one not an L as for here on YouTube if you like what you find then like comment and subscribe don't forget to bring your game face let's get it done so to get a sick animated wallpaper like this one what you want to do is hit up steam and search the steam store for wallpaper engine Wallpaper Engine costs $3.99 US, and before you go all, ah oh, fuck, it's paid software, keep in mind that at this price, it's not exactly going to break the bank, and also, if you don't like the software, you can just get a refund before your two hours is up. So after it's installed, you'll find the installed software size is 529 meg, or around half a gig, on your hard drive. And once it's installed, you can choose whether to start up in 32-bit mode, or 64-bit mode. Though the 64-bit mode may use a little bit more RAM. Me, I just left it default even though I'm using Windows 10 64-bit as this software is light enough that it doesn't really have much impact on my system performance anyway. Then you'll get a startup wizard that lets you pick the quality, so low, medium or high, and each one has an FPS limit. I just left that to medium as I found medium looks good enough anyway for a wallpaper on my 24-inch monitor. If you have a 50-inch TV screen as your monitor, then the high version would probably be the go. You can also choose to adjust the border colors of your windows to match the wallpaper that you choose. Here I chose accent color and you can choose to start wallpaper engine with windows and set high priority so that whenever you turn on your PC your animated wallpaper will start up with it. Once you're done you can choose to either have one wallpaper per monitor and in that case you can choose to have a different wallpaper on each monitor or you can stretch a single wallpaper out over all your monitors and all the monitors plugged into your graphics card will be shown here now click on a monitor and choose change wallpaper and then just pick a wallpaper so by choosing a wallpaper here you'll immediately see your desktop update to the wallpaper you choose and you'll get some options come up on the right here you can change the color scheme of the wallpaper by adjusting these settings in this box and you'll notice your desktop update automatically you can change the playback rate so if I increase this to full you'll see the clouds move a lot faster or moving the slider makes them slower then you can reset the wallpaper to its default settings if you change all of these and decide you like the original better and you'll also notice this audio recording option is ticked here and what this is is it's a feature built into this particular wallpaper and what it does is when you play any audio on your PC you'll get these sound bars on the wallpaper that move in time with the music which is pretty sick I think and once you're happy with your settings, just click OK. Also, over to the left here, you can browse by installed wallpapers, which is set by default, or you can browse the Steam Workshop for wallpapers, which there are a lot, so happy hunting on that one. You also have the usual option to search for a wallpaper by name, or you can filter the results, and you can rank the shown results here by name, or by last updated, or whatever you want. Then this document-shaped icon here lets you create your own scene or video wallpapers and upload them for other people to use. You can also click this cog icon here to change the settings and on the performance tab you'll see various playback options and what these mean is that if you have any other application maximized or full screened on your PC, for example a game or even just a document you have maximized that takes up the whole screen, Wallpaper Engine is set by default to pause whatever animated wallpaper you have running in the background and it does this so that your animated wallpapers aren't taking up extra system resources and affecting performance while you're gaming, which is really well thought out. And I would definitely recommend leaving these to default. You can also readjust the quality here. And over in the general tab, you can see that the first two options are start with windows and adjust windows color, which we set during the startup wizard. And now you'll be able to see that when I open a document, for example, the fine accent line around the outside of the window is the same color as the wallpaper theme that I've chosen. If I set this to everything, and then click OK, you'll see my document
Performance top bar and things like my task bar and start menu all update to the same color as my theme. But I do find this a little full on and so for me, I usually just have this to accent color. You can also change the opacity of your desktop icons and you'll notice that if you do change this, the updating of the effect can sometimes be a bit slow. With all the other settings, I just leave them as default unless you're having issues and then you may need to play around with them. Also, down here you can click on the Steam Workshop or Steam Store to find more wallpapers than the limited amount shown here. And you can also open wallpapers from various locations and the obligatory social links are listed also. Click OK and then that's all saved. And finally, if we open the Task Manager and check the Performance tab, we can see that the software has almost no effect on system performance. Well, mine anyway. I'm using a GDX 1070 and like a six-year-old Xeon CPU overclocked, which is about on par with a medium spec CPU these days. So that's nice too. So now you've had a guided tour on how to get animated wallpapers, feel free to give them a go. And if you just don't like it, then get a refund. Me, I think it's pretty neat and I'll be keeping it around. So if you like this video, then crush that like button, ask any questions in the comments below, subscribe if you wanna see more content, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thanks for watching today's video. Just remember you can follow me on Twitter at Base Palm with a one, not an L. As for here on YouTube, if you like what you find, then like, comment, and subscribe, but don't forget to bring your game face. Face Palm, out.